So before we could do another thanks video, that and true crime videos are all the more heavily uh, requested um, types uh, of videos to make. Uh, that and uh, making uh, gaming related content. Um, I do hope to uh, be churning out more gaming content soon. I've not really been playing a lot of games, so that's kind of why there's not been a great deal of gaming content recently here on the channel. But anyway, I thought we could do a little facts video about Chinese New Year, as it is topical. Um, and, uh, you know, quite a big thing at the moment. So, I was going to do it with uh, whilst chewing on some chewing gum. makes them having some really nice sounds. But yeah, I'm also trying my phone on a grayscale at the moment. Apparently it helps you reduce like screen time. So I think some quite grey. So interesting. Um, but yeah, I can also do another um, what's on my iPhone video. I haven't done one of them in a long time. But anyway, anyway, anyway. We're five minutes in. Let's get into some uh, Chinese New Year facts uh, from an article called 22 Facts About Chinese New Year. You. Yes, you. Talking to you. Should know. So, just close your eyes and drift off and relax as we look at some facts. Fact number one. It is a festival for a quarter of the world's population. So the world's population will be 7.76 billion for Spring Festival for 2022, and over 2 billion people celebrate it in some way, even if it's just a national acknowledgement. These countries include China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, South Korea, Malaysia, North Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, and Brunei. And I think the fact that so such a um, uh, diversity of Asian countries celebrating it is one of the reasons why I think it's more shifting towards, you know, Lunar New Year rather than uh, Chinese New Year. Number two, the holiday is also called Spring Festival. Though in winter, Chinese call their New Year holidays Spring Festival because start of spring, 4th to the 18th of February, is the first of the terms in the traditional solar calendar. While wintry weather prevails, start of spring marks the end of the coldest part of winter when the Chinese traditionally could look forward to the beginning of spring. <laughs> Number three, the date for 
Chinese New Year changes every year. The date for Chinese New Year changes each year. It always falls between January 21st and February 20th and is determined by the Chinese lunar calendar. In 2022, Chinese New Year falls on February 1st and it's currently February 2nd today, so I'm a little late. So you guys may know is that every Chinese New Year starts a new animal zodiac and we're going into uh, the year of the tiger um, and interestingly enough the year of the tiger was the year that I was born with uh, born in uh, 1998 so there are 12 um, Chinese zodiac animals now I believe uh, the order of the say here, my come later on, it was determined, I think, the fable or the tale, um, that these 12 animals each had to cross a river, and the, uh, sort of the order in which they finished, and um, which they came, determined the starting, the, the sequence of which animal and started that, um, rotation. So, the 12 animals are rat, ox, Tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Quite a, quite a zoo. Fact number five on Chinese New Year's Eve. Suspicious of foods. Certain foods are eaten during the Chinese New Year period purely for their symbolic meaning. These include dumplings eaten because they represent wealth. The more dumplings you eat, the more money you will make in the New Year. And fish is eaten because the word for fish in Chinese sounds like a surplus. 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 That is a fun fact. is celebrated for 16 days till the Lantern Festival. Traditionally, these 16 days from Chinese New Year's Eve until the Lantern Festival each had a special celebration activity. On the evening of the 15th day of the first lunar month, on the night of the full moon, families gather for dinner and go out and see fireworks and light lanterns. Lanterns are put up for decoration, let loose to fly and floated in rivers. I actually um, didn't realise it was um, you know, the Lunar New Year. Um, a couple of days ago, I had uh, gotten in from London and when I was walking back to uh, my place, I just kept hearing fireworks going off, and, but I didn't realise, you know, for us traditionally fireworks is either November 5th, uh, Bonfire Night, or New Year's Eve. So I was not starting to think, has there been a shooting, you know, what's going down? But there you go. Chinese New Year is a great time to visit China. So that's not less of a fun fact, more of a uh, tourist board sort of plug there. So, number eight. Traditionally, this period was for praying to harvest gods, um, harvest moon. Um, as China was largely agrarian, was a largely agrarian society, Chinese New Year was traditionally a time when people to the harvest gods to ensure that their next year's harvest would be fruitful. Today this has changed, but praying still plays a role as remembering your ancestors as a family is one of the most important activities during Chinese New Year. Nine billions, 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 billions of red envelopes are exchanged. You might be more familiar, it's one of the more familiar facts. Uh, Chinese people love the colour red 
less than 100 million people travel more than 50 miles during the Christmas holidays in the US. Um, interesting, I would have thought the... Um,
most, but for singles above the normal matrimonial age, it's not. In China, f females are said to be marriageable up to 30, and uh, men up to 32. Fair enough. So for old singles, parents are extremely anxious. So New Year's Eve stress is heightened by embarrassing interrogations of the singles. Desperate parents even arrange dating prospective marriages for their single children. To solve this problem, an interesting and often ridiculous solution has appeared. Renting a boyfriend or girlfriend for the new year. There are websites and agents specialised in this business. The price is about 100 won uh, a day, 16 US dollars. That, that does seem quite cheap, uh, but I imagine it's part of a package deal where attending the family event you will get food uh, and all beverages. So uh, you have to look at the wider benefits package uh, rather than the base rate. But yes, those were 22 uh, facts about Lunar New Year. I feel that I've learned something new. I hope you have too. But most importantly, most importantly, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video and it's helped you perhaps you know, learn something new, relax, unwind, or just, you know, chill out. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below and let me know if you're celebrating the Lunar New Year and what you're going to be getting up to. Um, but aside from that, it's going to be all from me for now. Um, so if you'd like to be kept up to date with new videos, again, hit that notification bell. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. So, lots of love. As always, my friends.